okay? That's why we record everything. Well, right? I mean, because we're accountable. Yeah. We're accountable to you. We're accountable to them. Yeah. We're accountable to them. If I said something that was not biblical, I have to apologize. You called me a prostitute. I didn't call you a prostitute. Yeah. Yes, you You're did. a liar. No, absolutely. Uh, now you're calling her a liar. <laughs> well, if she's going to lie, that's what do you call a person well, you that lies. You say that someone is lying, but I mean, if you're calling her a liar, that technically is judging. What's that? Lying? Yeah, it technically is judging if you're calling someone a liar. But if they're lying, well, what do you call? Well, you, you see, you can't even distinguish the no, truth no, no, from you, lies now. No, you can. You can say like you are lying. You can say the fact, but to say you are a liar, you are a prostitute, you are an adulterer, you are a drunkard. Like, like I would say, that's judging. So, if somebody kills somebody, what do you call someone who kills somebody? I mean, you could call them a murderer, but I wouldn't call them a murderer under the law of God. I mean, I would call them a murderer under the law. See, again, you're denying what God's word says. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, a person that kills is a murderer. Yeah. All right. A person that kills is a murderer. First off, you got to get in your head first of what actually is in here. Okay. If you steal, I mean, you could call them a thief, but I wouldn't call them a thief. Well, you're denying the truth. Okay. And unfortunately, if you deny the truth in one spot, you have to deny it in all the spots. You, know, you can't pick and choose which truth you're going to follow. Okay, so you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, yeah. nor print any marks on you. I see you have a tattoo on your arm. You're just going to pick and choose out the Bible what you want to follow? Well, I actually you, have nine tattoos, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, then, okay, well, then according see, to actually, the Bible, by your own logic, then that's a sin. Well, you see, actually, that's a little biblical law, which only applied to the Jews right. in Israel. Right. See, this is what happens when people take the word Listen, and I'm they not, use I'm it not, for their I'm own. Not saying that, okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I'm a rational person. Like, if, if someone just quotes a Bible scripture and it's just like, hey, you're so you saying you're a rational person and so that means she's not no, are you judging her I didn't say that she wasn't rational. well you just said that she quoted this I'm saying and she's she's not right I'm, I'm not being I'm a rational person I'm saying that she didn't I'm saying that she has a misunderstanding of the context of the verse I'm not saying that she's not rational right. that, and that's true that's true Okay, I wouldn't no, call her I irrational. Say that I am a rational person, which could imply that she's not. So I understand. I apologize. For that. I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Um, you know, man, I just, I, I have to get to school, but. Okay. You know, I really just don't see how this. Yeah, I'd love to take as many panels as I can get before I can learn more about it. But I just really think that the things that you're accomplishing here are not as great as you could be if you were really more so professing the love of Jesus Christ. We are professing the love of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And believe me, it was the love of Jesus yeah. Christ where I pointed I out each and every see, time. I don't was see any. love of Jesus Christ when you called me a prostitute on Tuesday? Okay, ma'am. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I first of all, I didn't call you a prostitute. Okay. So, whatever. I don't see any signs that are talking about Christ love for everybody. Because Christ doesn't love everybody. You yeah, still are okay. stuck on that. Yeah, no. You're still stuck you know, on sir, that. The, the okay? Thing, does I, God love people no, sir, that he sends no, to hell? I, I love you so much. Uh -huh. And I love all these people. Uh -huh. But I really can't sit here any longer if you're going to tell me that God doesn't love everybody. Because uh, that's something I believe with all my heart. And if you don't believe that, I hurt you. Well, you know, if you deny Christ, what did Jesus say? If you're ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you. I don't know, maybe if you could tell me where it says no, abortion. I'm talking to you. I am her parent. Don't talk to her again. She again. came over here, ma'am. She came over here. She came over here, ma'am. She came over here. I didn't approach her. I didn't approach her, ma'am. She came over here. She came over here. You know, unfortunately, this isn't one of your safe places that you'd like to con construct for people. This is a place where you're going to hear the truth. And as Jesus said, it is the truth that will set you free. Or sadly for many, it is the truth that will condemn you. That is the truth. This is not a religious matter. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Where you spend eternity is a religious matter, ma'am. It is a this God is matter. Not a religious matter. Okay? And I'm going to call you to repent because I do not want to see you die. And unless you repent, that is what is what's going to happen. You know nothing about any of our lives. Nothing. Actually, ma'am, it is by your fruit that you are known. Okay? It is by your fruit that you are known, ma'am. Do you profess to be a Christian, ma'am? 
No, I don't. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her. Okay. And if you profess not to be a Christian, then I am doubly concerned for you. Okay. Because God's word Why? says... I'm perfectly happy. I don't need your pity. You can be perfectly happy. Most people that are in their sin usually are. Okay? But the, there's going to come a time where you're going to stand before a holy God. Okay, and he's going to judge you not about how happy you are. He's going to judge you according to his word. He's not going to ask you your opinion or her opinion. He's going to open up his book. And he's going to say, why did you turn from me? Why? It's very simple. This is not about religion. It's about a woman's right to her own body, bodily autonomy. It's a woman's right to murder her child. Okay? God's word says that thou shalt not murder. It is a, that is the truth. It doesn't say thou shalt not murder unless you have... The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that a woman in consultation with her physician has a constitutionally protected... I know what Roe v. Wade says. Abortion okay. In early stages of pregnancy. 1857. The Supreme Court said that African Americans aren't real people. They were only three fifths people. So they are better off being owned. That is the word of man. And that no, that was 1973. Uh, uh, you know, really. Stick to the facts. Okay. Yeah, that's right, because that's what we like. We like to pull viable Can verses up and take them out of uh, contract. Property, so you, might so move you probably want to... Yeah, the cop's right there. You can go talk to him. When men you strive together and Thank you for your advice. Them. Thank you. I when appreciate that. When men strive together and hurt a woman with child so that there is a miscarriage and yet no harm follows, the one who hurt her shall be fined according as the woman's husband shall lay upon him, and he shall pay as the judge is determined. If any harm follows, then you shall give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, strike for strike. Therefore, the child that is killed is just property damage. It is not a human. And what is the penalty for that property damage? A fine. No, that's not what that said. Yes, it is. It, it said life for life. No, it said if any harm follows to the woman. Uh-huh. Here, I will, will reread it to you. It says that he shall pay as the judges determine. If any harm follows after after the fetus is dead, after the fetus is gone, if any harm follows, then it shall be life for life, wound for wound. Therefore, the fetus is just ah, you're taking scripture out of context. See, this is what that's happens what when people. That's what happens when people no, quote God's argument, word out of context. They your pick and choose. It's about quoting God's word out of context. Mm -hmm. Show me the exact part where it says that killing a baby, killing a fetus, is murder, and that you're going to hell. Show me that word for word. Taking a life. You it's are taking a life. A life is to me where it says that it's a life. That God knew you before you were formed in God in the in the like, womb. No, that says, says that about the prophets. You are not a prophet, Lord. okay? Actually, according to the New Testament, we are New Testament prophets, okay? Because a New Testament prophet is one who goes and hey, proclaims hey, God's word into Jeremiah. the situations. <laughs> So, what, what you don't like when we go back to we don't like to go when we go back to uh, the prophets except when you want us to no. go back to the prophets no but God put extra care into those prophets because he and he paid attention to them and he made he knew what they were going to be before they were born but he didn't do that with every single person he doesn't micromanage God doesn't micromanage? No, he doesn't. That's why... So that, that's that, why and there you go again, no, taking no, God's word out of... Because no, God does actually your know argument, everything. Your argument on Monday... God does actually God, control God everything. And in fact, and God says that you're having this conversation with me because he ordained it that way. No, you said, you said that God didn't micromanage, and that's why I'm atheist, and that's why I'm gay. You, you said do that. have free will. See, I, yeah, I'm not talking to her. She came over here. You want to talk about free will. I'm filming things okay. so you can't call me a liar. Okay. Thank you. All right. But free will, all right, was exercised in the garden. I'm not talking about And that's where you died. Okay? You died in the garden. Now, as far as... What about rape? Oh, look at their sign. Apparently, that apparently it's can't okay if someone gets raped that it's their fault. No, did I ever say that? Um, that, that sign that's does. Kind of what you're implying. That sign does mm, right there. Oh, that's what I'm implying? That if a woman is raped, she should now have the right to murder? It's not murder. Do you okay, think yeah, that yeah, just because she was raped that it's now her responsibility? I don't... Did I say that, that yes, it's that's her responsibility? That's what's what no, what's, what becomes her responsibility is if she murders her child. That's her responsibility. It's not. It's 
not murder. murder. It is murder. Do you know what murder is? Yes, I do. It is the willful yeah. taking of life. Do you know what life is? Yes. What is life? Do you want me to look it up? What is life? What is life? What is life? about knowing what words mean because mm -hmm. I've watched all your videos. What is life? I don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't know the exact freaking definition. Well, then look it up. Okay? Yeah, look it up. Stop. All right? The willful taking of life is murder. Rape. You think when, that when a woman should be carry around her rape for nine months after she gets raped? That's just... Have to carry her child? Yes, because there's no other option. They're just going to take the parts that you mess up on and they're going to use that in their videos because that's what they do. I know, because you left out the parts where you call them prostitutes. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm still waiting for someone to bring that up, okay? Well, All right. Well, what? Well, what? Well, what? All right. So now, did you want to continue your conversation? Okay, when do you think conception, uh, when do you think the life begins? See, that was called a Freudian slip. You know exactly when life no, no, no. begins. I it begins what, at conception. No, I know what your answer okay. will be. That's why. Life begins at conception. Okay, well women okay. oftentimes get their period after conception already begins and the egg is wiped out of their uterus. Does that mean every woman that has had a fertilized egg and a period is a murderer? No. Then That's what's called a miscarriage, okay? Now if you go ahead and facilitate that miscarriage, that is murder. <laughs> No, then a miscarriage should be manslaughter. No, that's an act of God. No. Okay. No, because if you want to prosecute every woman that had a miscarriage, oh, we're back again. We're going to put our two cents in and then run away. No, Go ahead. Talk, are you just going to interrupt us every two seconds? to happen and if God micromanages, then shouldn't abortions, shouldn't, like, if a woman gets an abortion, isn't that in God's plan? Because he micromanages and he wants everything to happen. Okay. Did you read no, at are all? Are you just going to ignore that argument? I'm actually going to answer her argument, okay? God made the world, okay? But man chose to sin. Man chose to sin. God doesn't micromanage in that he makes you do things. So you're going back on what you said. Right? I'm not going back on what I said. Yes, he micromanages in that he knows everything. That's right. That's right. And in fact, his word says that he knows your heart. That your heart is evil, okay, and, he also and it is wicked, so if, if and it is deceptive. Heart, isn't that just him so when messing up? Oh, God messed up. To govern every single person. Well, that's what, according to you. No, man chose to do evil. Man chose. Okay, well, you said God already knows their fate, and God already knows what you're going to do. Even, okay, so when he, if he, actually, God knows exactly what's going to happen to you. Knew that, and he knew you were going to sin. Wouldn't he just like keep? See, you adults that? talk one at a time. They don't talk over each other. Oh, really? Because you've been talking over us this entire time. I've been trying to answer you. Okay. No, no you've been interrupting us and talking okay. over us. Okay. Ma'am, ma do you want to? Have an adult don't you have conversation. Anything, to do with life, anything else to do with your life? Anything better than uh, actually? Educating. This is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. This no, is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> and by the judging of this, then yeah, this is exactly where we're supposed you're, to be. And this is where we're going to be, to be. Harassing women outside of a high school. Oh, we're, we're harassing. We're here. To you learn. came over to me. We're Did I harass you? Learn. You came over to me. No, and I will correct you. Prostitutes. Here we go again. Let's all follow the the little myth, okay? It happens. Okay. All right. All right. Now, did you want to have a conversation like an adult, or do you want to do like like don't. children do? Okay. Why would you, if you want to have a conversation like an adult, don't stand outside of high school. Go somewhere more appropriate. Okay. If you want people to know about abortion, teach your own family. Don't teach random people that you see on the street. Well, that's true. Because we we ignore our families and we just talk to people at random. That's what you've been doing. Well, then, see, again, you speak in error. You speak out of your own wisdom. And God's word says that in your foolishness... Stop bringing up God. This is not... In your wisdom, you... you is being you inappropriate. Your foolishness. No, this is inappropriate to do at a high school. No, ma'am. No, high schoolers do if not high, want to see this. They if high schoolers are going to kill their children, then high schoolers are going to see this, ma'am. They don't... We don't kill our children. Oh, no. We are teenagers. No. Yeah, they don't kill their children. Nobody kills their children. And Nobody has abortions in high schools. Oh, and if we do, it's because we want to lead successful lives and not live off welfare with a kid that's in... That's going to go into a home anyways. Uh-huh. That's called killing a child for your own convenience. It's called killing a child for your own convenience. It's called that you would like to... Why what does, is... Why does, okay, words why does matter. Fetus, why does a fetus 
get more rights than I do? Why does a fetus get more rights to my own body than I do? Bodily no autonomy. fetus has. Okay. You I'm have dead. bodily autonomy. When I am dead, I have to sign. I have to sign um, papers to prove that I'm an organ donor, and I want people to use my organs after I am dead. I did not give consent for a baby to live in my body. Okay. Well, actually, you did because you. Hypothetically, I'm not speaking about you. Does that mean I gave consent if I'm raped? And no, if you raped, you didn't give consent. But that also does not give you the right to murder another individual. Okay, but I'm saying... Because you were violated, because okay, you were... Saying, yeah, or are you going to let me talk, or are you going to talk dead. over me? Okay, go ahead. All right. That's... Uh, following your logic... Why was she violated? What's that? You said she was violated because of what? Against her will. That's what rape is. Okay. All right. Now, if she's violated against her will, that does not give her the right to commit a crime against another person. That would be like me saying, she punched me, so I'm going to walk over and punch you. Nope, not the same. That is actually exact, exactly the same nope, thing. Nope, that is a living human being. It is someone That's right. That's a living human being. No, this is a living human being. So is that. No, it's not. So is that. Is now, we're, we're not aborted. These are young babies. What's that? These are full-grown babies. Those aren't full-grown babies. That's 10 to 12 weeks. Okay? That's not even out of the first trimester. Okay? Okay, but it's not. Now. You're right, it's not. Now, you want to talk about fetus. What is the definition of fetus? It's not a sentient being. Ma'am, you shouldn't block somebody's free speech. That's a violation of law. Actually, I've been standing here the whole time. Again, when you purport lies, you just convict yourself. No. What I'm saying? No, what we were saying? So my dead corpse has more right to my own body than I do when I'm alive. Since, Your dead since corpse? To, no, I have to give consent for people to use my organs. But then this fetus is using my organs against my will. And I can't even do anything uh, about it. It's not against your will. It is against my will. No, it isn't, ma'am. It is. It but is it a is. life. Okay. It is, it is a life. Now you wanted to that I'm still waiting for you to look up the definition of fetus because you like to use that word. And it's much better if you know exactly what that word means when you use it. Words have meanings. Yeah, sure. A 